Hi all, this is Isha here from Isha's Crafty Side and today I'm here to share with you all my third design team project for the month of April for craft supplies for you and this is a, a you can say a pocket mini album or a wallet mini album so it's I made a mini album which could be carried with you you know so it's like very um, sleek and slim and uh, very very shabby because uh, this is uh, what I'm gonna give to, to my mom so this uh, could also be a Mother's Day project so I hope you all love it so here is my mini album look it's very very vintage shabby and to make this i have used the paper collection from my mind's eye the blush one it has beautiful beautiful shabby colors and uh, shabby patterns and i love this collection it's very vintage shabby so i use that and i absolutely love this paper the front which is very very shabby chic <laughs> so i used uh, this at the cover and uh, to all to tell you all uh, the dimension of this mini uh, is like uh, this is seven and a quarter um no seven and a half inch by um four uh, it's just a little shy for five inches so that's it so it's like a, a good in size and then for the front what did I do was that um, uh, I used my Ike success punch over here and then I have used this gorgeous gorgeous flatback pearl border from craft supplies for you I'll be leaving the link uh, to all the products I have used uh, to make this project in the description box below so that you all can directly follow the link if you need any of the products and I would suggest you should definitely check out the store because this is one of my favorite stores for the prices um, okay so that's the pink beautiful flatback pearl border I have used over here and then I created a handmade uh, gorgeously uh, layered flower and I will tell you all what I used for the base is uh, this gorgeous doily from Julie store this is a four inch cream color doily and I glimmer missed it uh, for, with my uh, color blooms and I um, misted it with the peony color and uh, the worn leather and then added a bit red chalk edger all over it to get the this color to match it with to the cardstock I have used over here okay and then I have this uh, eyelet trim this is also from Julie's store this was a cotton one and I glimmer misted it with the peony and one like pink bloom uh, color bloom spray so I got this color I pleated it up and I stick it on the top of the doily and then I used one of the uh, laces from my stash which was in gorgeous vintage cream color which would match with the um, base color so that's there and this uh, her beautiful flower center um, I had in my stash okay so that makes the centerpiece of the cover and then I have used uh, sentimental uh, saying love and I used one of uh, the satin ribbons in my stash and I just uh, you know ribboned it through the uh, sentimental and I had also uh, you know glimmer misted this with the um, one weather color bloom so i got a bit you know a vintagey pink color over here so that's what is going on at the front side the back cover is uh, also the same pattern paper and i used this uh, flatback pearl just to coordinate on both the sides so it it is all finished up and I just love this paper so so much that I didn't want it to to embellish this and cover it up and I also didn't want it to use any of the paper flowers or anything because this is to be carried into the wallet or something you know so uh, I didn't wanted it to be two dimensional or very uh, delicate so that the embellishments would fall out now here for the closure I have used one of the uh, laces cotton laces from my stash and I also dyed this with this gorgeous um, pink color and then I've dyed the bow for the closure so uh, opening the bow the closure you go inside and this is how my 
mini looks from inside isn't it super super pretty so uh, this paper all the papers you see is from the paper collection itself um, there are two huge pockets uh, over here I will just show you see uh, this is the huge pocket so that you can slide in a very big picture around 4 by 6 in size so there are two uh, huge pockets and uh, I did not go purposely the tags because I thought that um, I'll see it afterwards because uh, you can you know according to the pictures you could make the uh, paper I mean the picture mats for them all right so I also use my uh, EK success punch over here as y'all can see it looks so so pretty and then I have used this flat back pearl trim in pink color from Julie's store this gorgeous um, a pearl trim over here which you see the mini flower one this is my absolute absolute favorite this is also from julie's store so uh going over here like you have two huge um vertical pockets for the pictures then i have uh, made some side pockets like i arranged them to go at the corners like the first one the second one the third one so there are tags in each of them the huge huge tags so you can put a big photo at both the sides or else you can journal also so that's there and then i wanted to un, um have a focus on this image which is from the paper collection such a lovely day so i love 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 these two cute birdies over here and this paper over here was just a continuation of the paper over here so they were like one two and three birdies on to the um pattern paper so i cut it out like that so that i could use all the three birdies so there are two over here and two over here and one over here and it looks so gorgeous i love it and then uh, you have a pocket here here and here so one two three pockets here I mean the bigger one four pockets here and then here I have made some pockets for two by three photos so these are like uh, three pockets this is the first one the second one and the third one over here right so um, it's it's very nice and I love love loved it and this image is also from the paper collection it was on the pattern paper I'm sure which one this one the birdcage one so I wanted it to be here and it says uh, charming lovely beautiful so gorgeous I love it and uh, there's a date it says 1790 see there so it is vintage <laughs> So yeah, that's my mini and uh, I hope you all um, like this mini. If you need a tutorial on how to make this mini, please be sure to put uh, your comments below. If I get a lot of comments saying that uh, we want a tutorial, I will surely, surely do a start to finish tutorial for the making of this mini. It's absolutely um, simple in making and it's gorgeous gift to um, you know your mother or to anybody you would like to give right so do let me know if you need the tutorial for this and also let me know what you'll think about this project don't forget to check out julie's store for all the fabulous craft um, embellishments you would like to have for your projects in amazing amazing prices um there will be a coupon code uh, also i'll be posting there regularly some of the other deals going on on her uh a store so i'll be leaving all the discount coupon codes also in the description box below so definitely check it out and use those coupon codes before check out so amazing amazing store with the lovely deals so <laughs> i hope you all check out that too and yes again i would like to say if you need a tutorial for this uh, do let me know into the comment boxes and i will surely do a tutorial okay guys so that's it for today from my side see you all guys later with a new crafty project bye now